Priory Lane has a cycleway, which no one ever uses. This is the ultra-secure Bank of England Club. Now on to our first college, which is Fröbel College. I wanted to go in here, but it's closed. Never mind, there's another gate, just a five minute walk away. This is Grove House, which has some really nice Georgian interior design, but I wasn't allowed to film the inside. There are no lifts. This is Cedar. It's a boring building. This is Education. It has only one floor. This is Esther Lawrence, the Students' Union headquarters. The lift here is a key switch operated platform lift. This is a strange closed sign. There is an old fashioned light switch. The back of Fröbel College has some French inspired gardens. I'm finished at Fröbel. Now let's take the woodland walk to the next college, which is Digby Stewart College. Fröbel College and its lake. Fröbel College also has a waterfall, which is switched off. And here is Fröbel College and some coot ducklings, whatever you call it. This is Fröbel Lake. This lake was once converted into an ice rink, although they converted it back into a lake to save money. This is the woodland walk from Fröbel College to Digby Stewart College. We've now arrived at Digby Stewart College. This college looks nowhere near as lovely as Fröbel College. It's just got a construction site in the middle. Panorama. This is where I came from. This is Fröbel College building site. And here is... And this is Fröbel College Library and Wild Cyber Cafe. Is it open? Yes. I really don't see why university libraries need to be so secure. And now on to Bede. Uh-oh, broken glass. Tread carefully. I need student accommodation. There's a church. This student accommodation is an old gated lift. Wow. I'm going in this old gated lift. It's got the... I think that's a safety circuit thing here, and it's on the outside. So I'm in the old gated lift. Oh. Safety circuits not connected. The shift went up here, but why isn't it going? I'm trying to. Ah, uh, I think. Marriott and Scott! This is a Marriott and Scott gated lift. But. I think you need to have a key card to get, actually get it to work. It's not doing anything, it's not working. There's a manual light switch, but the light is stuck on even when the switch is off. And so this is an awesome gated magnet it's got, and when it came up here it came really fast. And I can't get it to move! Ah! I pushed, oh that was the alarm button, sorry. This is the Marriott and Scott lift on the ground floor. Nice sound. See how fast that arrived? I like Latin. By the Immaculate Blessed Virgin Mary's conception, let us have guardianship and protection. And this is Digby Stewart College Chapel. And it's open. Aww. The 
chapel had a no filming sign. It also had empty stups and a projector system. Digby Stewart College is also a convent, not a beggarage, as I had said. There is nice furniture. And now on to Jubilee. This is one of the old buildings. Because Digby Stewart is actually not just a college, there's also Sacred Heart Beggarage here. Um, and lots of the buildings are transferred to the college, but still, some of them are still backwinage. This one, one of the was the backwinage, now this college. And these staircase. Now on to the dangerous lift in Hearst. And this is the lift in social sciences. <laughs> Noisy. It's a generic. It's hydraulic. That took ages to charge up. allowed to have it like that. Uh, there must be no way of opening the door because I pushed ground when the doors were closed or were closing and the doors didn't open again. Let's open the doors, push the button, abstract the Damn it. this lift doesn't even have a sensor in its doors. That's very illegal. to Duchesne. Duchesne is a slightly modern building. What sort of lift do you think it will have? Come on, lights. All the buildings here have. You don't think lights. What sort of lift do you think the Chesley will have? 
An eco disc. Good. It's a view all over London. Eco disc chime echoes. Oh, I couldn't get the chime to go again. Let's go down. The chime echoed, it was lovely. This is a nice fast decoder. Wow. And now on to Shaw, where the lift was in a locked off area. There is no lift. I wonder if any of the others don't want to lift. And now on to Southlands College, which has loads of horrid 80s buildings. I'm in a Wi-Fi cafe. Let's look on the internet. Let's see if I can get in. Oh, uh, name of pass name and password. No there's no to get there's no guest account so I can't use it. Are you fucking joking? Shitelands? They obviously don't realise that they're swearing. Asbestos. I found a coin up laundry. Now onto the next building, which is MCL. Thousands College. Let's take a look around. I've never heard this lift before. <laughs> it's a cone. I don't know what type of cone lift this is. I've never been in this type before. Like Fröbel, Southlands has a lake with coot ducklings. And now on to Queen Mary's Hospital. First to the old hospital, which has been converted into flats. This is the main door. Oh! I opened it and now it's just suddenly locked. I thought the door did not have an electromagnetic lock because there was no intercom. It does, it's just temperamental. And now on to some more flats. An Arona. There's mirrors all around, infinity mirrors. An Arona. It actually says doors Lift going up. It's installed by Liftwise. I think the announcement's a bit too quiet for an Arona. Fourth 
past Arona. And there's the courtyard. This is the new Queen Mary's Hospital. I don't know why they built this step section. This hospital has Otis Gen 2s. And they don't have individual controls. Let's go to the second floor. There are a menu in this lift. Second floor. Doors open. Oh, just two thousand. This is just a silly view. There's a third floor. Oh, there is roof, but it's locked. Going up. Doors closing. Otis 2000. Hampton Hospital has a nice cycleway. Let's follow it. I took the 430 to Medbury Street and then took an Enviro 200 to Victoria. This bus was just a minute in front of the next bus a pointed at, but caught up with the previous bus, another pointed at. It was rather annoying, as all the people wanted to get on the modern Enviro rather than a 90s pointer dart. 